Ok, guys, I'm here today with Robson Moura. Robinho, huge honor for me. Guys, I think everybody knows him, but for those who doesn't know him, he's a five times Black Belt World Champion. He's part of the IBJJF Hall of Fame. And uh, he's probably like one of the most legendary Jiu Jitsu fighters in the world. And he has a very big association, he has a very nice school in Tampa. And uh, I think anytime you think about like a, a small person who completely shocked the world in Jiu Jitsu, I think he, this guy would come to mind. And today he's gonna show us here one of his favorite guard passings that I promise it's something that you never saw before. And uh, it's from the over under, which is one of my favorite passings. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's do it, Robin. Yeah, let's go. So, uh, you know, this pass, guys, I really like to do. And uh, let's say you call over under, I call 201 pass, but it's the same principle, the same approach. And uh, one thing I really like to do, because as I'm a small guy, I'm trying to keep my hands free, right? So if I'm really too much on my hands over here and fight against your leg, when you start pushing me off, eventually you're gonna you're gonna be able to move me off, especially if your big guy has long leg, long arm, right? So right, what I've been doing, you know, I call like a, like a monkey grip, right? Oh, yeah. So the thing on jiu-jitsu for me, man, I like uh, jiu-jitsu like the way I see you have four hands, right? Your feet has to work as your hands, like I call monkey grip, yep. right? So what I do is I go to the approach, I control the pants over here, and I go right there. Oh, go for I call this position two and I make like a little house over here. See right here, I make like four things. I twist my hand over here. So when I'm start walking that way, I open my hands and I fit my fingers. Yes, check inside. this out, guys. Check this out. This is amazing. Right there. Then pull. I'm relate. Now try to pull this leg off. There's no way it's stuck. Exactly. So now I'm free. Like see, I got this both hands. I control your elbow. Then drop my knee over here. So why I drop my knee over here? Because sometimes like, if I try to like slide my knee over here and you push me off, you're gonna be able to clear the bottom leg. Yeah. Exactly. So what I do is, I get right here, open my hand, fit my fingers in, pinch. So now the control, I drop my knee, right? So now if you don't you try to push me off, so I clear this arm, go right there. Yeah. Man, okay. that's incredible. Yeah. So can I see, for, as I'm here, I cannot see that well the, the foot go over here. Can you? So you grab like that, you make yeah. that, that twist. So now yeah. look, I open my fingers like that. Yeah. See right here, I open my fingers. Then my, my toe is going to come right here. Then I pinch. Okay, yeah. man, that's crazy. Right there, look, can I bring the camera here? Check this out, guys. That's crazy. That's amazing. So here, no, no. go for two or one, so open. Feel the grip, oh, pinch. Now right there, now you stand. Now if you try to pull this leg off, there's no way. Strap. Then bring my knee on. Yep. Right. Then clear the arm. And if you try to go half guard, try to go half guard right there. There's no way. There's no way. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. No, that's incredible. And the, uh, guys, I hope you did an entire structure all around this. And the, hobby, I want to ask you some questions here. So you are probably, one of the Jiu Jitsu fighters had the most successful career. And I still see you doing super fights. Like you just used this guard passing on super fight like one month ago or so. Yeah. So what motivates you to keep competing and that kind of stuff like that? Well, I, I, first of all, I love the sport. I really uh, love it, you know, and, uh, and I wanna like really be able to my kids to see me to compete, you know, like I have a, you have a twin. I right? have a twin, yeah. they never saw. And I, mean, and I took my old son with me to Italy for the fight. He was on my corner, he was a good friend of mine, yeah. Shaolin. He was so emotional, you know, and that's what I see. I want us like really uh, be able to there to see. And, and I still like love the sport. I train every day. I still develop new ideas. Every time I come with new ideas, I'm trying to work on. It's kind of my time. Like, Jiu-Jitsu gave me everything I had. Yeah. The, the friendship, the, the, the dreamy life I had. It, when I do that kind of stuff, it's my time to give it back to the jiu-jitsu community with everything yeah, I had. So yeah. now when I go for the competing, like I did in po uh, Polaris like a month ago, that technique, he was like, it's came virus, right? Everybody yeah. loved it, yeah. I got so many good like, feedback. Yeah, no, I saw everybody. one video that you did about this, that was like hundreds of thousands exactly. of views. So yeah, and everybody loved it, you know, I had a really good feedback and I'm pretty sure that I was able to help somebody who likes to do that kind of game. That was my payback, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Uh, so I, I love to be, be uh, on that game. Oh, guys, and a short story here. So when I started Jiu Jitsu back in 2001, I remember him competing in the words and winning. 
and he had a sponsorship of one of the most famous soccer teams in Brazil, and his gi was in the format of the the t-shirt yeah. team of the of the of that team. And the, so I, I remember looking to him, I was like, I want to be that guy one day, like that, that's my, so, so you great. grow up too much to be that guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but anyways, but guys, if you are, especially if you are a small person who does jiu-jitsu, this is definitely the person to look up for. Uh, he had one of the most amazing careers in the jiu-jitsu world. He also did MMA, he succeeded over there as well. He's one of the best instructors you can think of. Like he has a very big association, the Hobson Moore Association. And uh, I only hear compliments uh, about him. So make sure to check his instructional video about this guard passing. And he also did one about all about scapes that's super cool. He has an assistant where he never lets someone grab over the shoulder and dominate his face. So make sure to check out his instructional videos about this guard passing that he built a whole system around it and about the escapes. And uh, thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Benha. Thank you, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. It was like, uh, it was a lot of like passion and love behind, the, you know, to put this together. And uh, I hope you enjoy. I hope that can help you to move your game for the next level. Awesome. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.